everyone. Welcome back to Garner Reviews. We are once again out in the tool shed looking at some awesome tools here. I apologize, it has been a few weeks since I've done a video. Got really busy and then got a nice cold for a while, so I was out of it. Um, but we are back now and I'm hoping to keep up with maybe doing at least two videos a week. We'll see what we can manage though. But today we're going to be taking a look at some tools. This is from Ulfa. Now, Ulfa, if you guys aren't, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, let me know in the comment section down below. I think it's Ulfa. Uh, it's a Japanese company. Uh, these were ordered through, I think it was a company called AAA Industrial in the U.S. Um, and they had a whole bunch of awesome uh, Ulfa supplies. So, again, I'm going to keep saying Ulfa because I think that's how you pronounce it, but I may be wrong. Now, you guys may have seen some of the other stuff, um, but if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it, they originally came out with the original, like, snap-off blade. Um, it's a really cool concept, and if you haven't used, like, a really good high-quality one, if you're only familiar with the really cheap ones, they can be really off-putting, they snap, they break really easily. Um, but if you get something, like, from Ulfa, uh, I think there's a few others as well, they actually make some really heavy-duty ones that are going to hold up extremely well and take care of um, uh, any job you may be facing. So they're really popular in construction. Um, of course, they have a really good presence in like uh, crafts and all that kind of stuff too. So uh, we're just going to kind of dump this box out though because I got a bunch of things from them. Look at that. Yeah, uh, so it was uh, AAA Industrial Supply was the website I used. There's quite a few different um, dealers in the U.S. though. So check it out and find one that works for you. So, first things first, what do we got here? We got an awesome menagerie, all kinds of good stuff. So, we'll jump into this first one here. This is the big boy. This is a 25 millimeter or one inch if you're uh, in America. And this is basically, I'm trying to think of the model number on this one. It's their X design, oh, it's XH1. So what's really nice is you have this wheel here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see that well. But it's a ratchet wheel, so basically you can loosen it, adjust the length of the blade that you need, and then you ratchet it down, locks it in place, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, let's just let's just pop them open, okay? I just want to see this. I want to do it with you guys and show off some cool new products here. Wow, that's super nice. So first things first, just right off the bat. This is designed more for like construction or heavy duty use, okay? So you have a much thicker blade, it's one inch, um, and just the whole knife itself is designed for kind of that harder use. So everything's really well built, it fits your hand extremely well, um, the over molding or the rubber or whatever feels really nice. So, but let's check this out. So you can hear that, hopefully you guys can hear that well. So that just loosens up. Now this will slide, and you can slide this all the way forward like that if you needed to. But you can slide and basically figure out what you know what length you actually need, and then you just simply ratchet that down. And it is not it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, I can't get it to move. So you could do some incredibly good work with that. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. Obviously, this takes a little bit longer than like your typical utility knife. But the advantage with these is I believe these are actually sharper. They're way sharper. Plus, you can get that super long length if you need to cut through a thicker material like, let's say, insulation board or even just insulation. They make special blades for that. And the other great advantage here is you can use a smaller portion when this section starts to dull up. You simply snap it off and you've got a brand new section ready to go. So, um, again, it is a little bit slower to deploy, but it locks in place extremely securely. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's really nice and secure. You can do that one-handed, no need for two. Simply loosen it up, push it back in, it's ready to go. This section here, the, I think they call this like the, the blade channel. This looks like it was, I think it's stainless, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it says on here. 
yeah, stainless steel um, kind of a blade channel there. So, and it's very, it's actually fairly thick. It's got heavy walls to it, so it's not going to bend if you accidentally drop it on something concrete or whatever. Um, very cool. The way you load these, by the way, so you basically loosen it. You're going to pull this back, actually out the back, just like that. And that breaks free. It doesn't break free. It slips off. You throw in a new blade. Get it lined up in there. And it's got basically a little button there. A little knob. You're going to put that through the blade. Get it back into that channel. And you're reloaded. It's ready to go. That's, that's everything right there. Done and done. Pretty easy. And again, the, the speed of being able to just snap a blade off and keep rolling with a brand new ultra sharp blade is super nice. Um, so you've seen this one. Well, I'll just show you this one real quick. Same style, uh, basically, except you get an included like little kind of utility edge here. I'm not sure what you would call it. You can probably open something or like screw down a light um, cover plate or whatever. Um, so that's kind of handy. But the di main difference between this one and the other is this is an 18 mil, which is um, three quarters of an inch in good old freedom units. So three quarters of an inch on this 18 millimeter. And I think for the most part, like obviously you can get the um, Ulfa blades, but there's some other blades out there. And I think for the most part, they're pretty interchangeable as long as you're getting the same size, right? So if you get an 18 millimeter blade, it's going to work across most brands. A Fisker makes some as well as some others. So, but basically very similar knife except for this edge here. It's a little bit smaller, but still fits in the hand extremely well. And uh, operation is going to be identical. So simply push that forward. And it does have a limit there. So you can't push it any farther past that so you're not going to accidentally push it out the front and then again reload it from the back so very nice they do make um a different mechanism here that's a little bit faster it's like a push down and slide um i don't think it's quite as secure as the ratcheting but it's obviously a little bit faster so you can kind of make your choice there on what you would prefer i wanted the security i wanted to be able to set this to a certain depth and then just run with it for a chunk of the day um, chunk of the day but let's get into the next awesome thing here this is the blade disposal case so that was my immediate thought actually when I was looking into these I've seen these before I've just never really considered using them until more recently and my immediate thought was like it's great that you can snap off the blade and you've got like a brand new one what are you gonna do with the blade though well they've got you covered this is just a very simple plastic case it's got a top portion here, so you basically push this down, and you can see that opening, open up there. Opening, open up, that sounds funny. So you can basically open that up. You would then take your blade, get it out there a little bit like that, and you can see the lines on the actual blades. That's where it's going to snap. These, I don't think, snap very easily otherwise. like. I'm sure if you really twist on something, you can get it to snap, but they are designed to be used in construction. So they're going to be far more durable than I think you would expect them to be. But you would basically push down on this. You would slide the blade in, line it up with that opening, and then you can just flex it and break it off. And then it just falls right into the, the uh, plastic container there. So everything's nice and secure. You're not going to have loose blades floating around on a job site or throwing them in the trash can that way. Like, don't do that because... You never know what happens. Someone accidentally reaches in there, they drop like a screw or something, and then boom, they're hitting a razor blade. Not a good day. So this is then, um, I think you can dispose like a whole case if you want to, or you can like, once you get this filled up and you're ready to like, actually you can send the blades in and have them recycled. Very cool. There's basically a screw here on the front. You can unscrew it, pull the front off. You could get all your um, blades into like a larger container and have it recycled. So very cool. Um, just a great way to be safe. Plus, you can wall mount it there. Um, all kinds of great little options there. So I definitely wanted to get one of those. And then I got some extra blades. This is 18 mil, 25 mil. These are both the, oh, what do they call these? Well, they're HBB, the black. I think this is a, 
it's supposed to be this, I think, newer, like, ultra-sharp blade. So they have kind of like your typical uh, silver-looking ones. They're extremely well, uh, like, they're they're great blades. But I think these new these black ones are a little bit newer, and they're actually sharper. So, um, again, this is the 25-millimeter one here. Just comes in a nice little case. This top basically pops open. And then you've got, yeah, there we go. You've got all your blades loaded up in there. So nice and easy. It's gonna stay secure. You can throw it in your toolbox like that. Same same thing here with the 18 mil. Um, these are basically the same blades, just different different sizes. Actually, I'm just gonna open them all up. Why not? This is fun. You see those there? So the 18 mils, that handy little case. This goes that way. And last but not least, these are 18 mil, but they're serrated. So what makes these um, really unique is the serration on them allows you to cut through stuff like insulation board extremely, extremely cleanly and precisely. I don't know if you guys have ever cut through like the pink insulation board before, if you don't have a proper knife, you, if you've done it, you know what I'm talking about. It basically will tear, and you get these really nasty cut edges. Um, it never w works very well. makes a big mess. You can take these here. I'm going to pull one out very carefully. There's not as many blades in the this specialty set. There's only three blades, and they're solid, so they're not designed to snap. You can see that there, and it's pretty, it might be hard to see on camera, but there is a serration kind of built into the edge there. And it's not quite like your, it's very, it's different. It's not quite like a serration like you would see on like a steak knife. That from this side, it looks almost perfectly straight. If you look on it here, you can kind of see the serrations here. So it's just kind of a different design, but I've seen these in action and they cut extremely well. And obviously, with like the pink insulation board, you can run this in here and it looks like you're gonna be able to cut, you know, like a couple inches, right? Without having to make multiple cuts or bend it or anything like that. You can do a solid pass through one cut, you're good to go. So very handy if you're doing anything like insulation. Um, I'm sure there's some other uses for that, but that's just the one that jumps to mind and the one that this is kind of designed around. So, and they have a bunch of other blades they have um, they have some that have actually like hooks on them, um, for like cutting like carpet and different things like that. So they have a wide assortment of blades. And again, any manufacturer, as long as they're within a, a decent tolerance, you know, 18 is going to work with 18, 25 with 25. They do make a nine mil and they may make one more smaller. I'm not positive on that, but they do make a nine millimeter. That's kind of really like precision or craft oriented. So 18 and 25 are kind of geared towards more like your heavy duty construction style um, blades. So let me know what you guys think though. This is again, Ulf, Ulfa. I'm gonna say Ulfa. I think that's how they say it. So let me know, do you guys, have you guys ever used one of these? I'm super stoked. I love just like a good solid utility blade, but I think this offers enough versatility and just that really good sharp cutting edge that you can quickly, you know, um, snap off and get a new running edge going all the time. I think that's really appealing. Uh, the form factor is great, fits the hand extremely well. And again, they do have some different style of handles kind of all built around with some different locking mechanisms. So you can find one that fits you and fits the task that you're doing really well. But let me know what you guys think. Have you guys used snap off blades? Have you used Ulfa specifically? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.